G'day and welcome back Faintly Santley here and today we're playing Blade and Sorcery. This is the big 1.0 update. This is the progression update that has the new game mode with actual Up until now the game was a bit of a sandbox um, with really awesome combat but now there's actual progression and a bit of a story and lots of lore and world building as well. So when we start we're just here after I've created a character it wants me here on this boat. There is something funky going on over there. Um, and that's about all we know at this stage. So this is the Crystal Hunter update, and uh, basically this whole world is, I guess, gone crazy for these crystals they're finding in these old ruins. Um, do, 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 do. There's plenty of plenty of text and lore and world building, which I'm not going to sit here and read it all today. We're just going to get stuck in. Um, beautiful. So I've played before, so this tutorial is probably not entirely useful. Unless it's going to tell me about new features in the game. Done all that. I'm just going to keep running. So basically... Oh, hello. Guessing you're not friendly. That's a no. Basically, it's a physics-based combat fighter if you haven't played it, really. You get all sorts of spells and abilities, but because we're playing the, basically, progression campaign, I've started with nothing. So it's a bit of a blank slate. Nice. The combat can be a little bit brutal. You can turn that all off, but I don't think it's quite that bad. But yeah, essentially, this world has gone crazy for these crystals, is my understanding. But they're finding an ancient ruins, and basically, that's also what we need to find to basically build our character and progress. And that's how you unlock new abilities and new skills. So usually, you can just throw fireballs and lightning bolts and that kind of stuff, but at the moment, all I've got. Is my janky legs and a rusty knife. But I can also do this. Hey. Maybe. Well, there is some new stuff already. I think these blades are new. They weren't in the previous version. They're looking pretty pretty gnarly there. Um Ooh. this is new. Like a little inventory item. We have a zipline wheel and a journal and our stats all over here. Currency up there, I assume. You can use a little bit of telekinesis to pick up items like this. And uh, there used to be that telekinesis was like an, an offensive magic, but that might be something I need to unlock as well. Oh, that was silly. Yeah, so you've got all sorts of interactive things in the world. Basically, you climb around, you jump, you try not to fall into pits and fight your way through these dungeons. It looks pretty incredible for a virtual reality game. Well, this is all brand new environments. I'm used to seeing the sort of the same environments over and over in the previous version. They've obviously added a whole lot of content to this one. Okay, we got two guys here. I wonder if I can sneak up. Oh, they're both looking at me. Okay. So much for that. Come on. Take a swing. Got him. can get pretty dicey when you're outnumbered. There's this little tiny wooden shield. I don't need that. What is all this? These must be the ruins that I've read about. Basically there's, uh, I assume, like an ancient civilization that's built all this, where these crystals are being found, all these relics and things, and everybody in the world is basically fighting for them. Such an amazing time. I believe we finally found it. Here they are, the doors to the Amanira Na Chaos Van. This is the best time in history to be an archaeologist. Done with the translation. Who's this? 
Oh, this is very Breath of the Wild. Ah, tablet. Hey, I don't know what that means. That's cool. Is this one of the crystals, maybe? Crystal shard. More consumable crystal fragment able to be used to improve sorcery. That's what I want. I'll just put that in there. Yes. Nice. So I'll make our way through this cave. I think we have to swing the old arms just to get a bit of a sprint going. Looks a bit silly, but that's okay. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. That reminds me of um, Half-Life 2, the Citadel in, in the expansion. When it's been blown up and it's just got that big rift above it. So I do want to try this. This is a... What do you call it? A zipline wheel. I'm assuming this is the zipline. For it. Let's go. Come on. A little bit janky. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Beats walking. There's another big zipline up there. Interesting. Oh. Okay, it sort of uh, crash landed at the end there, but that's okay. Such a nice game. It has all these really nice environments in between all the brutal violence. Got a well. Got some bees. Ah, uh, I think. I think even the sandbox. There's blood. Is that you leaving a mess all over this house? Um, even in the sandbox version, like in the previous update, I think this might be the house that was like the hub world. Anyone home? Oh yeah, this is it. So it used to be this is where you you set off on your travels. Travel map. Oh, travel map down near the boat. Outpost, Rocky Horn, Tower Ruins. That's the big thing. That I just was uh, looking at in the cave. Usually all the weapons would be laid out here, I guess. Bed. Ooh, a mirror. Face reveal. You know. Very nice. <laughs> Not janky at all. Alright. When you leave a level, any item you own will return to your stash. When you left... When left somewhere outside of your inventory. Okay. Cool. So if I take an item into a level... I won't actually lose it. What are you? This wasn't in the last version, I don't think. The Gate Island Journal. Received a crystal core. It's just one. But even that is a minor miracle. Like any ability for sorcery might be a problem. Merging crystal cores, okay. Might be a bit relevant later on. What is this little little steppy step? I'll leave it there, can't take it with me. Okay, there we go. Alright, back into the open world. I used to be able to mash things with physics. Hmm. We'll move on. So I think the travel map was down by this boat. At any time you open the menu to check your inputs. Thank you. Uh, press the menu button. Yep, yep, yep. Baron's Bounty. Only place we can travel to at this stage. Let's do it. Oh, hello. Where am I? Whoa. That's cool. Boat's off in the distance. Oh, yeah, there's that big storm. More boats. What is that? All right, are you friendly or not?
I've been informed you and the Dalgarian Preservation Society are looking for entries to Del Dalgarian ruins. I will not ask why. Okay, you won't be alone in this effort. Factions are also claiming lands to find these entrances. They've set temporary bases in derelict outposts across the mainland. Your best bet to find the Dalgarian ruins is to steal the effort of others. Retrieve the maps. I see. Hello. The first NPC in Blade and Sorcerer, I believe. Everything you need to know on that note right over there by the map. Hey, little fella. If you got some time, follow me to the store. Oh, what happened to your arm? Rude. Okay, he's uh, been in a fight or two, I'm guessing. A ramshackle store on the edge of the storm. Easy there. How'd you take oh. a lost eye? <laughs> Getting well, punched in the back? <laughs> My apologies. My customers are oh, wow. Don't like to shop while looking over their shoulder. You know what I mean? Nice items for sale here. So listen, I don't need to tell you that the mainland is a hornet's nest of violence right now. So right, so this is all new as well. So obviously there's a the currency system and a whole bloody shop to go along with it. 18. Potions, always good. What's that worth? 123. Can't afford it. Buy swords. Uh, must stock up as you complete missions, I, I guess. Little target over there. What's that for? Practice. I'm going to shoot it and a Clorox's going to pop out. Okay. Well, I can't afford to buy much. And I'll get you started by giving you a piece of ancient Centauri wisdom. Don't do the work that cool. someone else has already done. The mountains are swarming with Eradian soldiers by day, bandits by night, all searching for Dalgarian wounds themselves. Ah, uh, he's saying what was on that note, basically. These factions have taken up yes, exactly what's on the note. Okay. But basically, we want to go to these outposts, find these people that are searching for the ruins, and steal their maps. Here we go. Outpost. Outlaws. Old repurposed outpost in the land of Eridan, occupied by hostile forces. Reach the end and steal the loot. Difficulty one skull, reward money. May as well get straight to it. I'm excited to see just how the progression is. Because again, back when it was a sandbox, you could just have everything to start. Oh, okay, I'm familiar with this area. This was in the sandbox. This is the usual starting point before you venture into the outpost. But uh, yeah, there was no real progression before. You had everything from the start and could just wreck things. Whereas this time, I feel a little bit weaker. I crouch, good idea. So we've got a few... Oh, he saw me. Hopefully he just doesn't alert the other guys. Oh, he did. If you land a good... Ooh, hello. If you land a good hit, he can uh, finish these guys pretty quickly. But eventually you'll get ones with armor and bigger weapons and... It's not so easy then. So where are we going? Usually there's either an entrance into the cave down there, or sometimes there's an open door in here as well. Oh, here we go. That might be new, I don't remember seeing that. Oh, got company. I'm trying to sneak. Don't hurt me. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's brutal. Hey, don't we got the weapon. Well, here's someone drawing a weapon in there. Oh, here he is. Oh. <laughs> Clubbed you with a torch. Are you done? Oh, yes. Awesome. Little note up there. Not allowed. Okay. Oops. What do we got here? A little chest. Money. I'm not sure if they're breakable. We're watching the outlaws and see a lot of potential in you. We know you need shards, and we have as many as you need. Report to us any exceptional sorcerer, and you shall be rewarded with a shard. Seek the chaos of appendance to find us, and if your blood speaks to you, we will now watch. Join the eye. Okay, it's obviously one of the factions that are in play. Damn, this looks good. Something up there. Uh oh. Hey. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, hello. Why is it putting me against so many women? That makes me a little bit uncomfortable. All for equal opportunity and all that, but I'd rather not. Anyway. Won't go into it. Did someone just jump into the water? Yes, they did. Alright. I'm out of here. Apple, nice. Don't need healing? No. Another chest. No, the crystal. Good. What are you? A watchman statuette. Eridan Kingdom figure representing the strength of the Eridan military. Maybe it's just a something I can sell for a bit of money? That'd be good. Nothing else in here. Oh, that's not... That's not a way out. I'll have to go... Up. Okay. Did I put my... Oh, I put that in here. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll save that for later. I'd rather not fall in the water. I have a thing about water. I don't really love it. So we'll just stay out of that. What is this? There's stuff in the water. Oh, nice. More trinkets. A royal medallion. Worn by nobility as a show of loyalty. Nothing else down here? little valuables for me. Uh, now. So there's only one way to go. Oh, what is that? It's kind of creepy. It looks like there's eyes in there. No, it's just reflections. And holding onto a ledge you want to climb over, hold jump and move forward to push yourself upwards. You can always push your arms downwards for extra momentum. Good to know. Okay. Let's 
It's a useful room. We want to go up. How do I? Oh, there's a. I'm going to climb here. Climb. Blew it. Gotta look for the right ones to climb. There we go. So was it? Grab. Move forward. There we go. You done? Yep. Nice little stealthy kill. Again. <laughs> Again, nothing against women. Why are there so many of them here? I don't want to keep killing them. You can use telekinesis to push objects to grabbing them to away from you by pressing the push button. Use this ability to open the trap door. Above? Or that? Try that. And deal with this first. Look away. Avert your eyes. Brutal. Okay. Apologies. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a bit creepy down here. I missed my torch. Another crystal. Beautiful. That's not a functioning door, unfortunately. What's that? A bucket. Uh oh. There we go. Druidic pendant. A bronze pendant carried by druids of the wild folk as a symbol of wisdom and authority. Okay. It's more. Loot, I assume. Uh oh, me. Oh. What was I going to do? Oh, interesting. Um, what I can do is get this little fella back out. <laughs> oh. Stealthy fire wielder. Ah. Uh oh, I blew it. Good strategy. Oh no. Get back my knife. So I think that was a thing introduced in one of the recent, or well, the previous updates, is that you swing your weapon too hard, especially low quality weapons, and you can be disarmed. I assume that's what just happened. Got stuck in him. Um, more world building. They're buying and selling these shards. Push for larger quantities. Okay. Yeah, all talking about how they're collecting these crystal shards and selling them and stealing them. Yeah, you're not going that way. Oh, hello. Where's my torch? Oh, I just put it away, did I? Yep. I was going to put it in my pocket. That's okay. I did want to grab this bad boy. There's a weapon. Alright. Slide down the rope, grab it, and hold the trigger. I do remember that. Another pickaxe. Way to get rope burn.
I just had to pause because I heard my cat breaking things outside. And now I'm uh, being attacked. <laughs> Oh. Right. <laughs> it was lucky timing. I came back just in time to defend myself. I don't know what my cat was doing, but it was knocking down the door. Right. I might have taken some damage, actually. Oh, I did. Okay. Good kitty. Good kitty. All right. No wonder. Aha. Uh -huh. You just need a big heavy weapon to break these crates. It's not like there's anything in them though. That's alright. This looks a bit more interesting. You can slide down zip lines with a zip line wheel or any object you can hang on that may slide on the line. Just with my hands. Oh, jeez. A little bit nauseating. One thing, if you don't have your VR legs in this one, you will feel it. Oh, gee. Oh, especially that elastic rebounding feeling. Might eat this apple, actually. How much does this heal me for? 67. 85. Not bad. I like this. No. Rubbish. Okay. Grab the little knife back. And move on. I was still getting tutorial prompts, so I assume this is just a predetermined tutorial level to an extent. Whereas usually these dungeons are all made of like a random building blocks all put together in a unique way. So every time you play, you might see familiar rooms, but they're all typically always different. What have we got here? A couple of boxes. Inaccessible door. Broken pot. Who did that? What is this? What does that look like? A trap. Treasure. Nice. Boxes everywhere. Oh, these aren't the interactive type, I think. That one is. What have we got here? A skull. Can I keep that? Nice. Still the ingot. I wonder if there's crafting in this. A mug. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Hundred dollar dues. Another crystal. A goblet. A bronze goblet. Ancient trinket, not very valuable, but quite durable with some practical use. You can bash heads with it, I suppose. Get my little trusty blade back. Uh oh. Not a good idea. Ah, okay, and this is the exit. Made it back to the boat. We're about to return home. Turn back if you want to stay. No, I'm good. Let's go. Cool, we're back on the island. So that was basically a dungeon. An outpost, a tutorial one at that, but not bad. Got some money out of it, got a few little trinkets to sell. Okay, you heal after your return, that's good to know. And I've got four of these crystals, so I don't know how to use them yet. Belgarian map pieces, complete outpost to obtain new maps. So have I got two? Oh, here we go. These outposts have maps for rewards now as well. I might as well just head straight back out in another one. Keep the action going. I want to get these maps and see what they lead to, I guess. I 
hope the stream's coming through okay. It's um, probably more of an intensive game that I would usually stream. I've got a rope here. That would be ore. Oh, I think I lose... Yeah, all the weapons that I get in the level I don't keep. I lost my pickaxe. I would normally climb. But I like the idea of... Oh, hang on. There we go. I'll keep that. Let's see where this takes me. Okay, so this is a brand new environment. We've got some angry boys and girls up here. If I just keep climbing, that won't get me, right? Bring it on. <laughs> Stay down. Oh, jeez. Where'd you two come from? Rami, come on. Come on. Make a move. Make a move. Is or OP? <laughs> Ridiculous. I love it. Big tower up there. What's happening here? A little campsite. Doesn't look like there's any loot though. I wonder what's up that tower. Interesting little place. Okay, there's all these convenient things to climb. Now what? Bricks. That'll do it. There's the core strength from uh, <laughs> the main character here. Is there a brick to grab? Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Really just dove straight down the hole. <laughs> All right. Nothing here. Oh, man. I know it's only VR, but jeez. <laughs> I have a thing with heights and I have a thing with water, and this is making me... We've got vertigo right now. Ooh. And zip line down there is pretty pointless, I guess. There's obviously nowhere to go over there, unless there's a cave or something. Oh man, I need to get down. Okay. An egg. A bird egg. Not very Nutritious, but delicious it is. How do I get down? Oh, I need to get back up to get down. Oh god, here we go. Why use the wheel when you can just burn the crap out of your hands? Oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Maybe that's why you use the wheel. Nothing on the beach. No critters or anything. Doesn't look like. Let's see what's in here, actually. Nothing going on up here. Oof. Oh, this is just... Okay. <laughs> That's pointless. 
Ah, but we have a cave. A dark cave. Can't see nothing. Hello. Yes, let's. Whoa. You're a tough one, aren't you? Not too tough for the ore, though. Stay down, buddy. Love it. Ooh, another goblet. And two crystals. <laughs> Great game if you're easily amused. Yesterday's little lightning display was embarrassing for us all. If you're going to try to use sorcery, perhaps read a book first, you idiots. I was peeling charred fingers off the floor all night. Here's how to make lightning the safe way. Consume the shards, concentrate on the tip of your fingers until it feels like your palm is being brushed by nettles. Point your hand up, not at your face. I can't believe this needs to be said. Oh man, if you smell burning, stop immediately. Do not increase shard using before you fully master its effects. You shall remain nameless had a chain lightning mishap, but took out several huts in the process last year. We all know who I'm talking about. That's quite funny. The old clipboard to the face trick, eh? <laughs> Someone out there shooting arrows at me. You're all staying down. Oh, this is gruesome. Oh. Coming for you. Put it down. Oh, that escalated. Oh, I thought this was a well. It's just a log. He was drawing their bow. That guy up there. Got my chunk of wood, don't make me use it. Yeah. I'm gonna use this pot as a shield. And a projectile. Now that's a landing. Interesting. What's the point of this area? How the hell did you get up here? <laughs> okay, so this was... Is that? Oh, a bit of broken pot. Okay. I mean, I suppose I could take the bow and arrows, but... So my style. Um, must be that way then. I 
What's that? Did I close this? Or is it a trap? Ah, up there maybe. <laughs> A wicker basket lid, look out. Oh, a plank. Now you're all in trouble. Anyone here? No one's home. It's suspiciously quiet. Oh my, no, my plank. Now dual wield. But I mean, this was a room that I was in earlier the ladder and the fireplace, except that door was open and this one was closed. So you can see how the procedural dungeon generation kind of works. Keeps it interesting. And everything meshes together really nicely. Yeah. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't think this game has voice detection. I am going to smack him. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, that's got to hurt. Apparently it did hurt because they ain't getting up again. Well, I think that impaled him. And it's still impaling him. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Is that a bow? Or just a creaking noise. Oh, hello. You got a bow. Have you got a staff? Stop it. Stop it. Come on. It's, it's over. You have the high ground. Yoink. Oh, come on. I think I have to imbue this with magic, which I don't have any magic, so it's really just a glorified club. Watch this. Maybe it doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Stay down. Oh, let me have that. Maybe not. Okay, so pots are deadly weapons. We know this. We know this. Lots of people are saying this. Oh, apples. What's gonna? Save these. Hello.
Hmm. Is there a safe way to navigate this without taking on three at once? You have... Oh, what is this? A long blade. By the name of... Long blade. Um... What's here? Oh, the ore. The war brand, it's called. Lose the staff. Keep the ore. Ore is the goat. How many of there of them are there? Just the two now. You better handle that. Another one. False alarm, let's go. Ah, you don't have a weapon. Don't do that. That was purely self inflicted. I was just holding it, I was just standing here, man. Oh, this is not going to look good. <laughs> no one's going to believe that. I swear, I was just standing there with my swords pointed out, and they ran straight into it. Got an upstairs, got a downstairs. Pitchfork. Gotta make it for a brutal weapon. Your life is in danger. Ramayan wishes you dead. Several captains have deserted, several executed. It is madness. Interesting. The Algerian Preservation Society, that's another reference to them. Interesting. Another little goblet. Worth a few bucks. <gasps> Hello, masters of the southern seas, free storm tamers, wind listeners. You should have all received this identical letter. Da, 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 da. Oh man, that's too much reading. If you want to read it, <laughs> I'll spare you the uh, distraction. You can pause the video or play the game and find out for yourself. Nothing up there. Oh, hello. Little statue. Oop. Where are we going here? Ah, this was the staircase right before the ending last time. And so it is again. That probably wouldn't have ended well anyway. So what do we get this time? Another skull, another fancy goblet. Add to the collection. Ooh. $161, two crystals. What's this worth then? Um, silver coin. Well, 386. Okay, that's 10 bucks. And the map. Oh, there's a bad boy. I don't know if this is a literal map or just a symbolic map. Either way, now it's mine. Nothing else of note in here. Beautiful. And away we go. Might better take this with me. Unfortunately. And we're back. Ah. We got one map now. 
So I need to do one more outpost to get the second map, and then that'll find the way to these ruins, I guess. But I'm going to go back to the shop. Where's old mate? Oh, it's up there. Well, all I've got is this. It might be nice to start the level with a decent weapon or a potion or... Oh, some armor. $220. With a little skull on it. Just tell me what it is. Oh, yeah. They've all got different stats. No defense, but high mobility and high spell casting. That's like a, a mage armor. Aldrin's gloves. 83 dollars. Bit of defense, still good mobility. A fingerless leather glove. Um, well I don't know about that. Looks pretty fingered. Giving added grip stability to using weaponry without compromising on precision. That could be good. So like I was saying earlier, if you swing a weapon too hard, you could be disarmed. This might improve your grip. And you can slap people with them. I don't actually know how much money I have. If you want to buy something, just place it on the orange cloth and make it. 396. Minus 166. Oh, what are you worth? Three thirty-one. Hmm. Two twenty. That'd be decent to start with. Gotta weigh out my priorities. Oh, I can actually afford them. Oh, I should sell my stuff. I don't think I need four goblets. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell. 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 Sixty-seven dollars right there. Ah, oh, one of these is a golden chalice. Oh, this one. Fancy. Ah, uh, can sell that. Can sell that. Sell a skull. Medallion. Oh, he doesn't want the skull. Oh well, I guess I'll hold on to that. Nope, no, I won't. Statue. Statue. Come on, give me the statue. They're worth uh, not as much, still good though. I want to keep the ingot just in case I can craft it into something later. $154. Gotcha, thanks buddy. By the way. Bring it on. Alright, that'll give me enough money to comfortably buy this. Although, I can I afford this one? This one's a bit more substantial. Beautiful sword to yes. See you, pal. I want this stuff, please. Thanks for your business. Nice. It'll be good to start a level with. An appropriate sword. How do I... That's not actually on though, is it? How do I, how do I? Do I do it like... This? <laughs> alright, alright. Um... Help me armor shop. How do I put this on? No, I can put it in the inventory, but I... Oh. Uh-oh. Stop, this is a Christian channel. How do I get my... Oh. Okay. Quit miring. Which hand is this? This one. So if it's like this, I should be able to pick it up. 
and I'll glow and it'll work. What's going on? There's the right hand, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. Can I... Okay, so if we're in front of the mirror, go into like equipment mode, which is good. Right. Grab the glove. Put it on the hand. Oh, aha. Hey. What did I do? I had it upright. Oh, there it is. Yes. Check out my gloves. My sword. Lovely. Looking good. All right. Enough of that. We have a map to complete. Let's go. I grab a quick drink of water. Thirsty work. You got to stay hydrated when you're playing VR, especially something this uh, intense. Oops. Okay, and we're back. Got my nice new sword, got my nice new gloves. Ready to go. I'm not even going to wait for you. A tough cookie. Whoa, so are you. Ah, you're disarmed. You stay away. <laughs> Just attacking his hammer hand. Another staff there, too. Where are you? Is that you? No, you've got a weapon. So we've got somebody on the loose who's probably out there finding a weapon to come back and kill me with, and I'm hoping they're not behind me. You got armor. Well played. Oh, a bone. A bone club. Crystal. That's you. Beautiful. Man, this is satisfying. So long I played this game and it was just literally just running, killing, which is great. But now there's more of a purpose, more of something to work towards. Because now I'm really excited to unlock some powers and get some spells happening. Okay, bones are a good weapon. Not as good as a sword. I need to be careful, I don't know where I am in my room anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna start punching out windows in a second. Where am I? Okay, got my bearings. Okay. 
Oh, I can put a sword there. Okay. Because now... Already used? Oh, yeah. Somebody, give me that. Only two arrows? You're useless. Now I can do this. Be a super cool archery man. Okay. We're going not that way. Nothing up there. Where'd I come from? That way, right? Right this way. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not reading. TLDR. Oop. What a sword. Oh. Is, is this where I came from? No, definitely not. Okay. Another pickaxe. Don't have room for it. Um, what, uh, okay. What is going on here? Oh. Whoa. No. <laughs> I slid down the rope too fast and I was trying to drop my sword into him as I went. <laughs> he doesn't seem too phased by it. He's angry. Man. Okay. You can slide down ropes too fast. Note to self. I wonder where it sends me back to. Do I just start the whole level again? Wait, where am I? Ah, this place. Why? Must regenerate the level. Oh boy, okay. stuff around here I'm just gonna ooh, get moving as soon as I take care of the trash here hey buddy looking for me chop your leg drop the hammer thank you the book can be deadly too. Oh, I didn't actually expect him to die from that. Um, he's talking. You? Decisions. Ah. Okay. Oh, 
creepy. Interesting room layout. Oh, nearly got him. <laughs> Imagine that, just walking around and someone pegs a stool at your head. Where do I go? Over there. Mm hmm. Crystal shards are missing. Oh no. Where do I? Ah, there maybe. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pull yourself up. Come on. Before the person starts hitting you with arrows. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Come on, you janky. There we go. Don't want to be up or down. I don't think I can get anywhere up. There, maybe. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a bad choice. Well, Ducky, while well, he's over there shooting arrows at me. Alright, I'm out of here. And try this. Ooh. A glitchy goblet. Take that one. Where do I go? Must be down. Oh, yep. There's more people down there. Okay. That makes sense. Uh oh. No. I used up all these arrows. I can't even borrow them. That's what I was trying to do down the rope ladder. A bit more successful when you don't uh, die in the process. Hmm. More treasure. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, too much. I don't have the attention span for that. Right now. See you, buddy. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Nice one. You go down there. Bye-bye. Is that a... Is that a sneaky little path? Oh, look at this. Jeez, I wonder how many secrets I've been missing. That was well hidden. Oh, no, 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 no. None of that. Now that range stuff, thank you. This won't kill me, will it?
proved to be more deadly for him. Again, need to find my bearings. This game gets you spun around a lot. That's crystal. Hello, friend. Oh no, I landed in the fire. <laughs> I keep hearing creaking, and I can't tell if it's someone pulling back a bow. This is getting dangerous. And we are back. Another successful run. Now, two maps have been unlocked. And here we go. Delgarian Wild Folk, an ancient Delgarian ruin. Be prepared for a long and treacherous run through a labyrinth occupied by the Wild Folk. Difficulty three, reward. That's what we want. That's what we want to uh, increase our power and get some cool abilities going. Awesome. However, that'll be for the next video. This one's gone pretty long already, so I'll give you guys a break and I'll take one myself as well. So thank you for joining me for my first look of. Blade and Sorcery version 1, the Crystal Hunter game mode. Um, this progression stuff is really cool. I mean, this is always a great game, but this progression and purpose and lore and world building and all these new assets as well, it's fantastic. So if you haven't played this game before, check it out. I definitely recommend it. And uh, if you are interested in the next episode where I go check out that ruin and start developing my powers, hopefully, uh, consider subscribing and you'll be in the loop when the new videos drop. So... Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.